Now, previously, I was not able to train Dream Booth on my system, on 8 gigabyte NVIDIA graphic, uh, graphics card. I was not able to train SDXL, but now it has become possible with the new NVIDIA uh, driver updates. Now, NVIDIA drivers usually update automatically. However, if it's not updated automatically, you just come to NVIDIA control panel, which you can be accessed from desktop. Just click uh, right mouse click NVIDIA control panel and come to manage 3D settings. Now, if you check Manage 3D Settings and you see some, an option here, CUDA, Syst, uh, Syst Memory, System Memory Fallback Policy. Okay, now if this option is available, you don't need to install the driver update because it would have been installed automatically. And uh, then you can check the uh, driver. Okay, you can uh, keep the default and try with it or prefer system fallback when there is uh, not enough memory, for example, it will NVIDIA will refer to the system memory for the CUDA related operations. Okay, now if it's not auth uh, installed automatically, then you can do it manually. Now for the new uh, NVIDIA driver, we just go to the download page of drivers. You choose the driver that suits your system, such as GeForce uh, through 30 series, 3070 GPU, Windows 11, etc. And click download, then start downloading the driver and install it into your system. Click open and install the driver normal, normally, okay? Now, if you want to enable uh, the uh, system fallback feature, we go to CUDA system fallback. Now you can use the system def default and it works. If it did not work, you just go to prefer system fallback. So uh, once we are done with this, we can go to Koya and start the training in Koya. And we will see that it will be able to train Dream Boost and train. Is the XL on 8 gigabyte VRAM only? For example, if we have uh, these settings, for example, we use is the XL, we use image folder, class folder, model folder, assemble test with parameters of, in general. Okay, I'm not going through the details because we have explained that in another video. If we use any book of one, for example, cache latents, um, I will not, I will be using the default parameters in general. Uh, regarding, uh, I will use enable buckets, resolution 1024 for SDXL, no have VRE, okay. Now uh, in the advanced settings, we can use uh, network train unit only. Now I have tested uh, the SDXL training with this and without it, I did not see any difference in the character training example. We use gradient checkpointing, uh, Xformers, Everything else is basically like the same. Noise, uh, noise offset of 0.0357 based on the recommendation. We can also increase it to 0.5. Now in the sample generation, this is something like this. Now, when we start training, we can see, for example, now this is just a sample test. Now we can see that the training has started despite that I have eight gigabytes of uh, VRAM. Now, if we want to train a Dream Booth, we can come to Dream Booth tab. We can choose the SD uh, checkpoint. I'll be using uh, SD 1.5 checkpoint like here and use the same folders, basically similar settings, similar parameters. I'll be using Adam W8 bits, which uh, which was impossible previously to train using these settings. I'll be even using large image sizes such as 1024 and advanced, keep the same settings, gradient checkpointing, okay, and sample generation and start training. Now this is Dream Booth training on 80 gigabytes VRAM. Now the training starts. Now the goal here is just to show you that uh, it's now possible to train a dream booth, uh, a dream booth uh, for SD 1.5 using lower VRAM and train SDXL LoRa's with the new NVIDIA driver update. We can see that training has started. Now, initially, it's uh, slightly slow because uh, because in, in now the training will be shifted from the VRAM into the memory, the system memory as well. So the training will be slightly slower. But I'm like I have said, uh, I'm using 1024 image sizes. Now, if we use a lower image size, such as 768, we will get double the speed uh, that we are having now. So this is a Dream Boost training. So uh, this shows that Dream Boost training now is possible 
using 8 gigabyte VRAM, just using the driver update. Now, another update from NVIDIA is the Tensor RT. This is not uh, very new. It has been uh, for about a few weeks uh, thus far. Now, Tensor RT extension, it can be used with stable diffusion. In this web page, we can see the settings. There's an extension with automatic 11.11 that we can install, but the process is slightly uh, a little bit more complicated. Uh, the, before, the performance boost is like double, but it's slightly more complicated and it's very limited. So for example, we, are, uh, we can only use Tensor RT with certain image sizes, such as 512, 512, 768 by 768. So it does not have that much flexibility. And each time we want to generate a new image, uh, we have to uh, design a, a Tensor RT for that image size. So this is why I will not be explaining this method, but anyone who is interested can come to this page and see the details about this and try to install it. But be aware that you might get lots of errors during the process. So this is it and uh, have a good day.